Hello, my name is Dr. Emily Watkins, and today we are here to talk to you about our first plates in our exercise science department. Our force plates are a great resource for our research purposes and for our classroom purposes because they help us to further analyze movement. Our force plates are built of two force plates specifically that measure our ground reaction force. And what that ground reaction force is, is just that force going through our bodies as we are stepping, jumping, walking on the ground. And so by using that ground reaction force, we can measure things such as limb-to-limb -limb asymmetries, how much force is going through your right leg versus your left leg, how much force are you using to jump with, those sorts of things. So we can really manipulate these force plates to help us in any research or classroom purposes where we are analyzing movement. So today we have Shay with us here who will be demonstrating a few of our movements that we can analyze with our force plates. So Shay, the first thing I'll have you do is what we call a drop landing where you are going to lean forward, even falling forward, and catching yourself with one foot in each force plate. So Shay, if you want to demonstrate that for us, please. Excellent. Thank you very much, Shay. You can stand back up on the box. With our drop landings, what we can determine is when you are falling off of that box and landing with one foot in each force plate, we can determine how much weight is going through each leg, your right and your left leg. So we can see whether one leg is favored. Maybe you put more weight through your right leg or your left leg when you land. This can help with biomechanical analysis as well as rehabilitative purposes. Additional movements we can consider. Instead of a simple drop landing, let's do a drop landing with a jump. So now Shay is not only going to fall forward and land on the force plates, she is also going to immediately perform a vertical jump upon her landing. Whenever you're ready, Shay. Perfect, thank you very much. And Shay, you can actually stay on the force plates for the next one. So that was a vertical uh, ground jump after a drop landing. Another type of movement that we can analyze. And then finally, we have lots of different counter movement jumps that we could analyze. Simply, a common term is a squat jump. And so a squat jump where Shay will squat and then jump into the air and then land as softly as she can. Whenever you're ready, Shay. Excellent. Another example of, an, of a movement that we can use to analyze different variables that are occurring in the body. These force plates are not only limited to these three examples that we just performed here. We can program different movements into our software system so that we can analyze lots of different types of movements. It helps us to add quantitative values to some of the movements that we already analyze in exercise science to add another level of our analysis. Thank you so much for joining us, and I look forward to showing you the force plates in person.